Hi guys, welcome to the restoration of repository session. Here we'll discuss and we'll see and we'll know how to restore your previous repository. You can call it uh, how to restore how or how to re-register your previous repository. There are, th there are three main components that you should have. Uh, volume of that repository and database of that repository and Leatherfish full text search file of that repository. So Leatherfish full text search file you can regenerate it there's no problem so you can stick with this two volume and database of that repository that you want to um, register or to restore. Let's go straight to my uh, backup files. For me, I have uh, a file, uh, my folder for the previous repository, which you can see I have uh, my volume, which uh, was named the default volume. You can see the, the, the volume. And out here, you can see I have a search file, a Leatherfish full text search file. And uh, my database, I have DB backup folder, which uh, I did a backup in a format of MDF and LDF files. Uh, so to bring our repository back online, to restore it, you, we need to first make sure our main components for that repository are on. So let's go and start with the, uh, uh, okay, let's start with the bringing back on the database of that repository. So I will attach since I'm waving MD files. select you can see it's from DB backups okay our previous DB for uh, our repository is on now so let's go to the administration console So remember this, if you want to create a new repository, you right click and create a new repository. If you, you want to restore, it means you will go to all task, register the repository. Click, then go next, specify the server that you want your registered repository to be. Here specify the name. I'll call it XBank repository path. So I'll locate it to that folder which has everything in there. Next, I'll let my SQL server. SQL Express So I'll use my database that uh, I'll store at area Then next, next the Leatherfish server and caught an error when trying to attach. Please check the event viewer on Leatherfish uh, machine for more. Okay, so there was an error. Let's know how to handle it. It says we should go to event view. Let's go to event view.
Razor Fish Content Repository Error Let's read this error Okay, dialog function Login failed for user Razorfish. Oh, so login failed for user Razorfish. Let's see why. Let's go back to our installation. Let's go back, back, back. Razorfish. Is this the error message? ODBC is firing. Let's see how we maneuver this ODBS driver. Let's try to the window authentication. Good thing. I'll be with you guys on solving this error. I'm not stopping this video. I want to solve it with you. Let's try to log in with that user first. Oh, we are in. Okay. Then is that user? Let's give this user four lights. And see you. What? to login is the administrator first then it gives this user four rights let me restart this yes we are restarting Let's go back, go back, go back. And let's make sure if the error that we are solving is the right one. Okay, this one. An error card when executing an SQL query during the results of a query, otherwise communicating with the database. Okay, 
Let's see. Is our ODBC working? ODBC rushing sixty four score saver. I'm trying to see if my ODBC works, OGX, Express. Data computer is successful. Okay. Okay. Indicator uh, ODBC driver here, S square ODBC. problem with this for user NT authority okay now let's see. So let's go back. To, let's go to services. SQL and try to change the user. SQL Express. Let's use a local system. So there's the uh, I thought the I think the problem was you can see as a login thread for user NT authority system. So this was the user used by uh SQL service and the ODBC used it to log in so I've changed it into local system user account and uh, let's see if it's solved.
I start new, I'll start by register gx So it worked. So challenges like this you can face uh, while trying to restore your repository. So don't worry, you can go to Leather Fish Answers. There are a lot of ways, maneuvers, uh, answers to your trouble question. So after restoring the repository, you can see now I can try to log in using admin. And I can see uh, the previous template. Uh, let me try to log in into the repository using window client. Let's official Windows client. And it, uh, let me log to the repository that we have restored. Use admin. Okay, guys, we are in. So thank you guys for being with me in this experience of restoring our repository. Thank you very much. Welcome.